Cleveland investors, what is up? Your boy Jay Wise here taking a look at another one of your deals, right? This one is a Burr deal sent in to me by my guy Jason, long distance investor, right? You're coming to me from Boca Raton because I got it all, dog. First, I'm going to run you through your deal, whether or not it passes the sniff test. Secondly, did I wear deodorant today? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So I'm good. Is the house good? We got to figure that out. Number one. Number two, if it is good, we're going to talk about the rental. We're going to talk about how my team will walk you through it, how we'll pull out the money, how we'll manage the tenants, how we'll do the whole thing for you in the Cleveland market. Because again, brother, you are in Boca Raton, Florida. So you're going to need a boots on the ground team. And that's what we provide. Let's go. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show, y'all. Your boy Jay Wise here. I am your dude, your guide to investing in the Cleveland market, okay? So if you want to invest in the Cleveland market, and you want to do so from out of town, that's cool. That's what we help you do, okay? We got it all, folks. Boots on the ground resources, right? This is where it starts, though. Got to make sure the deal's actually good. Then we have construction, maintenance, landscaping, plumbing, electrical, property management, tenant screening, leasing, property insurance, the whole shebang, right? So my dude, Jason, uh, you sent me this deal, bro. And uh, the property is 225 Kansas Ave, Lorraine, Ohio, right? The listing only comes uh, with very limited information. They just sent us this, like, across-the-street picture uh, of the outside of the house. No additional info provided other than a full rehab is going to be needed. Now, first thing, it's location, 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 right? That's the number one rule of real estate. I like the location. Solid location, bro. This is like a C-grade neighborhood. Uh, in the Cleveland market, it's like a half hour west of Cleveland, Lorraine, Ohio, okay? We're killing it in Lorraine. I actually like the city of Lorraine better than I actually like the city of Cleveland. I think it's more landlord-friendly, and I think there's more opportunity out there, and I think we make a killing with Section 8 rentals. Now, all of that said, more opportunity out there. This one ain't no opportunity, bro. This is a crummy deal. This deal is way too overpriced, okay? Now, the listing is listed at... 60, oh, no, 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 where'd I go? Lost it, hold on, went to the old listings, uh-oh, oh, Oh no, let me get back to it, okay, here we go, the listing is listed at 63,900, they just put it on the market nine days ago, $63,900, that's like triple, like what this thing is worth, dude, all they told us was that the house needs a total rehab, and she gave us like an across the street picture, right, but we did a little digging, right? Uh, you spoke to her, and she actually sent you these photos. Now, I am, like, totally against agents that have additional information on their property uh, withholding it from the listing. Like, dude, just put it out there, right? Like, I understand if it's a tenant-occupied property, right, and you don't have interior photos because you don't want to deal with the tenant, and the tenants, you know, problem don't want you coming in and taking pictures of their house and shit like that. That's fine. This is a vacant house, and this chick has the photos. Just put the freaking photos out there so we could save people some time and money here. Uh, but she didn't do that, right? And this thing's going to need a total rehab, right? You got major, major issues, okay? Like, see this right here? Big hole in the ceiling. Another one right here. What this is, what this tells me is we got serious water damage probably coming in from the roof. So we know we got to do a roof. You got to completely uh, do all the interior floors, walls, uh, completely do the kitchen, right? Looks like we're probably going to have to do all the plumbing, all the electrical, all of the HVAC, uh, roof, probably windows, uh, the whole shebang, right? Like literally everything, right? You got all the old plaster and lath, right? You're going to have to do it all, dude. Like this renovation could easily uh, get up into like the seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 range because you're going to literally have to top to bottom this house, right? Everything. Furnace, hot water tank, electrical through the whole property, right? I'm sure all that water damaged everything. Roof, everything, right? Everything. 
70, 80, 90 grand is where you're going to be, right? The ARV though, right? You're only really around 100 grand, right? Now, I know the listing agent said this at one point was a duplex, and then somebody's like, yo, let's make it a single. Now it's zoned a single or some shit like that, and you might want to try to rezone it, get all fancy. It, th there ain't no juice worth all that squeeze right here, man. This, this, this ain't nothing. This thing is super duper overpriced, right? Like, if you pay this thing out for like. Freaking twenty, maybe it's worth taking a look at. But at sixty three thousand, this is this is just pointless, dude. I don't I don't know what type of Kool Aid the seller and the listing agent are drinking, but you ain't want none of it, brother. And the other thing is they just listed it nine days ago, right? So like you might be like, Oh well, let's put in a twenty thousand dollar offer. They just listed it at 63.9 a week ago, so like it would just be a complete waste of time to be like, I'll give you a third of that, right? They're not going to do that. These people, they're just wasting your time. Like, don't even worry about it. There's no deal here. Uh, neighborhood's cool. If we could find a bird deal where the numbers would make sense in Lorraine, it would be epic. It would be great. Uh, this is a big old house. You'd probably get eleven, twelve hundred dollars in rent. Definitely going Section Eight would be a good idea. Which, by the way, uh, I recall in my Email correspondence with you, bro. You asked me some questions about how Section 8 goes and how the inspection process works and all that jazz. Uh, luckily for you, if you go to HoltonWise.com, click on our property management fact, and then you scroll down to the Section 8 section, we have an entire fact dedicated to Section 8 questions. Uh, so you want to check that out, uh, read you through all that, right? It is a little bureaucratic. It is a little uh, annoying, right? Uh, they go through, and sometimes they'll be ticky-tacky on some of those inspection items every year, but sometimes they won't, right? Uh, this is the deal when you work with a government agency like that, right? Uh, you could ask the same question to five employees, and you're going to get five different answers. Uh, there's really not that much consistency, right? Every inspector's probably going to cite different things. We've had people come out and inspect properties, and then uh, they cite like two violations or something. And then on the reinspection after you fix them, a different inspector comes out and cites something completely different that the first person didn't didn't cite, right? So it does get a little annoying dealing with the government red tape, but like, hey, that's the government, right? So you are going to have to deal with the trade off uh, of it being you know, not as efficient as you'd like to. Uh, but I think the trade-off is well worth it. Dealing with a little bit of those hassles is well worth the opportunity to get the government-guaranteed rental income, right? Especially as you go into the higher-risk neighborhoods where getting the guaranteed income is super important. But wrapping up your video with a beautiful bow on it, this particular property, 2225 Kansas, is not that opportunity for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.